Today guys I'm just going to start waterproofing some electronics on my uh, low C night crawler. I'm going to start with the battery. Uh, to do so I'm using Plasti Dip uh, just like everybody else recommends. Um, some of this isn't um, all that special but uh, the first thing you want to do is um, stir it up thoroughly. Make sure you got a good mixture. Okay once stirred you want to um, cover up anything you don't want covered obviously you can use tape in this particular case we're just going to dip the entire battery down inside the, the canister and lift it back up and then we've got the little dish here I'm just using a magnetic parts uh, tray and a couple cups um, thanks to uh, RC Sparks he recommended doing that and just using this little uh, nut driver here um, or hex driver to uh, hang it up and let it dry for about 30 minutes and that's pretty much the uh, the process so here we go and I am going to hang it here just uh, briefly let uh, any any bit uh, drip off that needs to drip off and then I am going to dip it twice um, just to make sure we got a good coat uh, primarily around the, um, the electrical wires here coming out of the battery that's probably the main area that water could get in and settle is just inside the plastic wraps they put around the batteries so I'm going to dip it uh, one more time As you can tell, I am coming up uh, about um, an inch, inch and a half up the wires. And I'm going to let it just hang here for a second. Let it drip off. Okay, once most of it's dripped off, I'm going to scrape just the bottom corner off, just a hair, without trying to take any of it off. Kind of tilt it back and forth down there on the bottom, make sure we got a good coat everywhere. Then I'm just going to slide my parts tray underneath and we're going to let it dry. Okay, this is a view of the LiPo battery that I did um, about 45 minutes ago. I've worked it into kind of all the little uh, crevices. You'll notice at the bottom where the thing leaks you know drips off it gets a little messier down there but uh, overall it's a really nice finish um, you'll notice by the uh, the wires here they're all pretty uh, pretty well sealed so I'm pretty impressed with the product so far